Hello you guys, how are you guys doing? I hope you're doing amazing. Thank you so much for tuning into this channel. My name is Freshia. If it is your first time to be here, please consider subscribing down below and do not forget to turn on the notification bell that you'll never miss out any video that we upload every single time in this channel. So, the time that I was away for a whole month, of course I addressed the issue in the previous the previous video. Uh, I got so many questions asked, but I could not respond to the questions as I said I was too busy. And so for the next few videos we will be addressing these questions and today's question as you can read from the title is someone asked me what are the top common and skilled jobs here in Qatar that somebody someone can apply and I have made this video before but I will never get tired for repeating this again and again for the new family members that are joining us so I'll be giving you guys at least seven jobs that are unskilled that you can do and for these jobs they are for both male and female so if you are a man if you are a gent sit back sit the sit down with a pen and paper right and then you will evaluate and see which one suits you if you are a lady sit down with a pen and paper write down all the jobs that i'll mention with their with what they do and then you will decide what you want to do or what you want to apply for so the most common and skilled jobs here in qatar these unskilled jobs for the people who are not sure about it they are jobs that do not require experience or require minimal experience and they do not require like school documents okay so in this case i'm gonna take you guys through the jobs one by one there are jobs that i've mentioned before but since it is a new face a new video of course it will have different information in it so job number one which is for both male and female is the security guard jobs security guard jobs are very common here in Qatar and also in the Gulf region you can apply for the job if you went to school if you did not go to school it does not matter they do not require any paper that shows that you went to study security management if there's something like that no they do not require that they don't care if you went to college or do not as long as you know English you know how to interact with people and maybe you are from a, an Arabic country you know an Arab you know Arabic that is a bonus that is those are the things that they will look for they will not ask you to have papers of school or documents or or whatever you have your passport with you go apply for the job through the agency mostly these unskilled jobs are found through the agencies by the way it will not be so common for you to get them online it is advised you go get an agency who will bring you here and at the same case at the same time i tell you guys to remember to be careful when you're dealing with these agencies some of them of course they are not genuine people so that is number one number two is uh, the cleanest jobs this is also for both female and male cleaners jobs there are people who come here maybe before i go to the cleaners job let me explain what security guard does into into briefly uh, a security guard is a person who is placed in a building or an institution or a specific place for you to maintain order and peace and and all that like you're there in a mall in a in a in a school in a hospital in an airport for you to guide people tell them this is where you're supposed to pass when you're going to the other gate tell them this is where this uh, uh, store is when you want to go to that store like people will go to places and they do not know the direction and you are the people who will guide direction if you see people who are starting to disagree or starting fights you are there to like calm them down okay that is some of the things that you will do or even though fighting is not common it's just like a way of maintaining peace um, i'm not saying like it happens uh, now I, I go, and now I go back to the cleaners. Cleaners jobs, you have to come here. You will not be required any paper, but it will be an advantage for you if you have been, you have done cleaning before. And if you have not, worry not. I came here as a cleaner and I had not done cleaning before. Okay. So, um, and not only me, like many people have done, have not done cleaning and they have come here because, and why are these unskilled jobs not so keen on what you have done before? It's because when you get here, they will have to take you through the training of, according to the specific company with their specific rules so don't worry about training and all that so cleaners you'll come here to to clean the environment you will be allocated in schools again in airports in hospitals uh, on the roads depending on the company that you come with and how will you know where you are being allocated your offer letter it states if you are a person who will be coming to collect garbage on the roads they will indicate there like a general worker or whatever they will put there so what is important is for you to go through your, your job offer letter correctly when you get it and see if that is what you, you can do what they have written there that is another thing okay 
so the other job that is unskilled that uh, that people can do this one mostly is for men i have not yet seen ladies working in this industry is construction workers construction workers or helpers they are people who do manual handling like they are people who are there to help the the engineers you are there to remove uh, sand from this place to another place from where i come from we call it mjengo because it's a mjengo you are helping the 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 the, the, the engineer like engineer is sending you go to this place and uh, bring that cement go to that place and send that bag of you know those things that is what you go to do there of course it's something challenging this one i will tell you it's challenging but it, it's manageable people are here and they are doing it if you don't have another option i will prefer you come here do this be patient you know stick around until your time is over and then you get another job okay it is paying just like any other jobs you will get paid it's not for free so when you get paid you can find your way out on another job the other job i want to say is for tea girls and tea boys this one are like more of we dresses but uh not with dresses really like you are uh, they are mostly in buildings like hospitals and uh and um and uh offices you are allocated there to be giving tea to the people who are working there like like uh, the doctor uh, the teachers the office people like you are taking tea to them it's it don't have to be professionally made but of course you have you must have an idea of what you're making and these ideas comes through many ways like i tell you guys if you have been told by your agent that he or she has the jobs of a tea girl go online google search watch youtube videos what does a tea girl do and when you go tomorrow you will have an idea when you come here to start the job of course they'll take you through the training and it will not be so hard for you so that is another thing that you can do here a tea girl or a tea boy a tea girl is a male is a lady a tea boy is a male so you'll come here to like serve tea we call them pantries you'll have a pantry to serve tea give them hot water if they want hot water and then as the, the more you go the more you continue learning new things like you continue how to learn co to do coffee you open up your mind think outside the box as i always say google watch youtube how to make spanish coffee like those things talk to people who do this and ask them okay the other job that you can come to do here is a messenger a messenger is a person who is sent just the way it sounds you are being sent to take things from one place to another like to take documents uh, you can be using uber you can be using company car you can be having a company driver so you'll just be taken take this uh, letters to this office like that and you can be in one building they'll be telling you take this to first floor second floor like that is your work a messenger you'll be sent to take documents from one place to another or parcels okay other job that you can use to come here is car wash attendants car wash attendants are people who clean cars here in qatar and even in any other country of course you know their job you'll be allocated in a car wash you will be cleaning the cars of people there uh, mostly some of the companies will pay you as a monthly salary and some of the companies will pay you in commission but it is very rare for them to pay you in commission what happens they will give you a standard number of cars and tell you if you wash a number of these cars you will be given token like you'll be given uh, like commission after the like you'll be given extra money than what you receive in your salary okay if you clean if they look at your work and you do good work you know you do a great job of course they will compensate you so those are some of the few jobs that i will give you guys as unskilled jobs of course i've forgotten some for now but those are some of them that you could get for both male and female if you do not have any education you do if you do not have papers if you do not have any experience you can do this and you can do it again and again as i said if you have noted it down the jobs and you have decided what which one you want to do even if you think you cannot please take your time and go and search google or use youtube search the job and how people do it how they manage and you will have an idea of if you can do it or not but as i always say do not underestimate yourself we all start from somewhere we have not gotten here overnight like we have been through steps and steps and steps and steps until we got here so i hope this video helped each and every one of you I, I, I wish you can share it to your friends and family who may need to hear this you're not supposed to be discouraged that you because you don't have education you cannot go to qatar or you cannot go to gulf no you can go to these countries with these type of jobs that i have said but i have said this one i cannot advise you people to apply online you either talk to people who are already here to connect you or you use an agency to bring you okay so for me you may tell me to, to connect you at this point at this point as i speak i do not have jobs 
jobs to share around and uh, to share with you guys and if i re i have jobs to recommend i always share them on my instagram so it will be good for you if you go and follow me on my instagram and uh, be keeping up with my stories so that you will not miss out any job post okay thank you so much guys for watching this video until this end i hope it helps and uh if you have not subscribed until this far please consider subscribing down below do not forget to turn on your notification bell that you will not miss out the next video until the next one bye bye